We're learning more about a variant of COVID-19 now confirmed in the state of Oregon, and the case is now linked to the University of Portland. We have team coverage on this for you tonight, breaking down what the variant is and what it means for all of us. Let's start things off with Fox 12's Drew Marine, who spoke with university officials about their plans going forward, as many undergrads are slated to move in in less than two weeks. Drew? That's right. They say more than 800 students will be moving into the dorms at January 25th, and they're moving forward with this plan because the staff member that was that did test positive was immediately put into isolation. The first case of the UK variant in Oregon was found at the University of Portland during routine staff testing. As we've been ramping up testing on campus among uh, staff and, and faculty as we prepare for more students to return to campus uh, next week, uh, this person had tested positive earlier in the week. The spokesperson for the University of Portland, Michael Llewellyn, says the staff member was already in isolation when the Multnomah County Health Department notified them on Friday it was the UK variant of COVID-19. This uh, particular staff member uh, does work and, and live on campus, so once the test result came back, then uh, we did uh, put that person into, uh, into isolation, as we would with any uh, positive test. Llewellyn says the campus and specifically where this person has been was already being sanitized when they found out about this case. We haven't been told by the uh, infectious disease experts that we need to do anything beyond the ordinary in terms of our strategies that we already have in place when it comes to regular cleaning and sanitization. More than 800 students will begin moving into the dorms starting January 25th as planned. We have uh, de-densified our residence halls in preparation for our students. There is a, a strong mask up policy uh, on campus for faculty, staff and students. But not without testing negative first. When our students begin coming next week, we have uh, baseline testing that will be conducted before they're allowed to move in. Uh, that testing will be done in partnership uh, with our health care provider, uh, Carbon Health. If by chance there are any positive cases on move-in day, there are our plans in place to isolate students. We have segregated some areas that will allow for uh, anyone who happens to test positive uh, to be able to uh, quarantine uh, and isolate safely. Llewellyn tells me depending on how often a person is on campus and interacting with other people, there will be surveillance testing weekly, if not daily. Live in Southeast Portland, Drew Marine, Fox 12, Oregon.